Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another bi-monthly visit from Broker Tour. So yeah, Barrel is at Cronia Relay today on Saturn. And don't forget, if you're not Master Rank 4, you can't get in. But if you are, then good. Cool. So yeah, let's get right to it. So right off the bat, we have the Kavat Sentinel Wings. I believe this is the next new accessory for the uh, Sentinels which is the Kavat series. I believe from the rotation before this was the uh, Kavat uh, Head Sentinel uh, accessory, I think. But yeah, this is a new accessory, and yeah, it's really cool looking. It has its wings, I guess, based off of Kavat. I don't know in what way, but it looks really cool. Just got it, haven't equipped it yet, but yeah. Uh, yeah, and we have the Prime mods this time, and this time it's a better variety, instead of it usually just being thematic, or all same damage types and whatnot. But yeah, we have Prime Bane of Corrupted, Prime Heavy Trauma, Prime Ammo Pistol uh, Mutation, and Prime Pressure Point. Uh, if you're a beginner, or if you're a newer player that's still playing, I'd say if you can, get the Prime Pressure Point, and if you can spare ducats, go for Prime Heavy Trauma. Prime Bane Corrupted and Pistol Ammo Mutation are kind of niche, and are not really practical for everyday kind of gameplay, I would say. Uh, but yeah, we have the Provo Vandal, which is a, I believe, a status-based status weapon. Uh, it's, it's really good, I think. This is really good with the corrosive or, I think, magnetic build. Uh, it has innate elemental electricity and a high uh, status of 20%. But yeah, I like it personally uh, just because the machete stances are better. So this, so this weapon is definitely viable uh, just because with the whole tweaks to uh, machete stances and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, we have the, in ongoing, we have the Kutir armor set that, ooh, it's now showing up as a whole. We have the chest plate, the shoulder plates, and leg plates. I'm a huge fan of the uh, Kutir armor series just because I just love his, uh, I say this once and again, uh, the angular design aesthetic that Kutir uh, employs in his designs. But yeah, I really like it. Uh, don't need to get it, I would say, just because if you're a newer player, you should f pretty much be focused on getting your mods first. The armor sets will always be in rotation, so that's nothing to really worry about if you miss out on it, except for the timed and seasonal things, which I will get to in a second. Uh, we have the Katira Sentinel Tail. Once again, it's a Sentinel accessory based on the Katira design aesthetic, but I'd say you don't have to get that unless you really use your sun a lot and you really like it but yeah this is always will be in and out rotation uh we have the katir color picker palette which is really cool it features the colors of bro katir which is basically uh shades of i would say like olive green sea foam green or turquoise and blue and shades of gray this is a really good way to expand your color picker without having to use plat so yeah, on the cheap. And we have the Twin Gricotta Talson skin, uh, which is very cool. It has a very deco, like, I'm not sure, like a, some kind of like, very ornate, like Middle Eastern or like Mayan kind of decorative skin. Uh, it's really cool. I want to do a alternative arsenal video on the Twin Gricotas because they're a very cult uh, favorite kind of weapon by the community. But yeah, like I said, if you really like the Gricotas, get it if you can spare it. But yeah, uh, we have the Katir Sugatra. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of Katir stuff kind of showing up on this rotation, which is cool. Very cool, employs the same straight angular diamond aesthetic. And also, if you haven't noticed, um, a lot of the Katir stuff tend to have this little little um, diamond projection that kind of emanates on the accessory. As you can see on the tail of the sentinel tail, and then the, if you see the chest pieces, uh, well, just the chest piece, not the shoulder plates, I believe, also emit the same, uh, I guess you could say, symbol of Katir, which is really cool. Kind of flashy, uh, which I like. 
And yes, we have the Katir Solstice sign now, which is making a yet another return. Hopefully, again, one more time by the end of this month, if I'm not mistaken, would be the 28th. Uh, but yeah, if you won't be able to play this weekend, you will definitely, I believe, if my theory is correct, that it will show up again on 28th. So yeah, if you can't make it this weekend for it, uh, definitely keep in mind because this is a, this is one of my favorite uh, favorite favorite uh, <laughs> sign Donna that Kutir, uh brings. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out. And yeah, sense of notice. There's uh, sense of notice blueprint. There's really nothing much to say about that. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. This is the 79th rotation of Brokatier. Yet a holiday one. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. There's a lot more videos to come for me. I'm just kind of catching up because this holiday's been pretty busy for me. And yeah, have a good one, Tenno. See you in the next video.